Answers number six, the last free response question on the 2013 AB exam. And this is another no calculator question. And in number six, they give us a differential equation. Uh, they tell us that y equals f of x is the particular solution to the differential equation and that this is a point that's going to be on that graph. One comma zero is going to be on the graph of f of x. Part A here wants us to write an equation for the line tangent to the graph of f at 1 comma 0 and then use that tangent line to approximate f of 1.2. So if you want the line tangent to the graph of a function, what you're going to need is you're going to need the slope of the tangent line. And if you want the slope of the tangent line uh, evaluated at the point 1 comma 0, you're going to have to recognize that the derivative of your function evaluated at the point 1 comma 0 is going to provide that slope for you. So the derivative of our function is already given. So this is kind of nice, pretty easy. All we have to do is put 1 in place of these x's. We have to put 0 in place of that y and we're going to be able to evaluate and get our slope. So we're looking at e to the 0 times the quantity 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1. If you simplify this, anything to the 0 power is going to be 1. 3 times 1 squared is 3, and then minus 6. So I guess we're looking at 1 times negative 3, or negative 3 for our slope. So really all we need to do to write the equation of the tangent line at this point is we need to write the equation of a line that has this slope, negative 3, and goes through this point, 1 comma 0. So if you use point slope form, y minus y1, well the y coordinate of the point that I know is on the line, the point of tangency is 0. There's my m value. And then I'm looking at x minus x1 in this set of parentheses. And there's the equation of the line in point slope form. And obviously y minus 0 is just y, so I don't really need to show this piece. And if you wanted to write it in slope intercept, which is also uh, something that you're always allowed to do, you could go ahead and either go from slope intercept at the beginning and just avoid point slope altogether. Or at the end here, I'll distribute in to develop my slope intercept which would be minus 3x <coughs> and then plus 3. Now in the second piece of part A, it wants us to use the line tangent to the graph to estimate f of 1.2. This is easy to do. The point of tangency that we just used is 1. One point, it has an x-coordinate of 1. The x-coordinate that we want to estimate the function value at is really close to this x-value. So all we're going to do to estimate f of 1.2 is we're going to take 1.2 0.2 and we're going to put it into the equation of the line and I'm just going to the points into the slope intercept form for the equation of the line here. We're going to put that into the equation of the line and evaluate. The reason why we're able to do this is because a curve and the line tangent to the curve are going to be extremely close together near the point of tangency and this is near the point of tangency. So the y value on the line is going to be near the y value on the curve as long as we're near the point of tangency, which has an x-coordinate of 1. And so if we evaluate this, let's see, this is going to be negative 3.6. Negative 3.6 plus 3 should leave us with, what, I guess, negative 0.6. So we get negative 0.6 for our estimate. 